Good morning, children. Good morning, parents and administrations of the schools. In today's lesson, uh, we are going to be uh, studying how to win the chess game when you are stronger, better, when you have more chess pieces on the board. What are the strategies that we can use when you are night up? So let's see this again. I want you to think for a minute about the strategy that you would use to win this game with a black side. Okay, so basically I'm asking you this question. Would you push your pawns forward right away and try to get a queen? Do you want to push them on the other side where your knight is here? Or do you want to try to bring your king to the center of the board and then push the pawns? So which one would you choose? Okay, let's create the strategy now together. See, before pushing the pawns forward, the best would be to bring the king and improve the position of the black king. Now, the reason I want to go with a black king to the center, middle of the chessboard, look, if I can, if I can get here to d5 or d4, e4, e5, that would be a great position for a king. Now, white king will try to stop and block black king. But uh, our king in the middle of the board can support the pawns on the queen side and the pawns on the king side. So when we start pushing the pawns, this black king will be able to support them. So let's uh, do that first. We'll bring the king and see what, what the computer is going to do. Here, is, is the computer going to stop us? Okay, computer is not playing the best moves right now. He's playing with a king uh, and not improving his own king. So let's go, let's go forward. And now look, we cannot move to d4 or e4 because the computer set up the, the block, right? But now it is time for us to push a pawns, or we could try to improve our knight. Look, the knight right now cannot jump to the center, so perhaps we can think about a strategy to bring the knight to a better position. Do you see any better position for this knight right now? Okay, one position that I <clears throat> see for the knight would be knight on e5. Look, if you bring the knight to e5, and we could do it this way, go to d7, and then bring knight to d5. Look, from e5, knight could jump to c4, uh, and, and it can support the attack on the pawns, right? We could do that. That would be a nice strategy, right? We can also try to push the pawns. Look, if you push uh, uh, the pawn like this, look, this would be a nice move. Maybe we can even go like one one more step forward, All right? So let's, let's try this move. And then, then we're gonna improve our knight. Let's bring the, the knight also into the gap. Okay, let's... Um, how about we bring the knight to the center here? Now, our knight is attacked, so we, of course, have to run away. So let's run away. Maybe we jump to g4 because, look, now, now we are taking the pawn on h2. And we have to run away again. Now, look, we are coming back to the same place where we were before, but right now there is 
a space E4 where the knight can jump to, right? So we could we could do that later on. How about we improve a little bit our pawns? We push we push a pawn to B5, and and let's see what the computer is going to do here. Okay, computer is pushing his own pawns. Look, I am going to improve on the king side. I am planning to push this pawn even uh, for one more step and try to to block this pawn. Now, this pawn here, pay attention to this pawn. That's that's a backward pawn. It cannot move because if it moves for two steps, we can take and pass on. So we are already we already improved a lot. And now time to get one of the white pawns for free. Which one we can we can take? I mean we cannot take right right now, but we can attack one pawn and and and, and get him. It's this pawn here, right? So let's let's get close. That's why the king in the center of the board is useful. Look, we're gonna get closer and try to capture this pawn. But white is attacking our pawn here. Of course, we have to to um, do something before we capture the pawn on f5. So why maybe we can uh, um, maybe we can just push forward. Okay, now white king wants to go this way. Should we allow the white king to go that way, right? We we could stop him. Look, I could play this move and then capture the pawn. Or I can uh, I can push a pawn like this. And look, now, now you, you cannot go with your king to, to b5. And now we can take the pawn on f5, right? Look. Should I capture this pawn on a3? I can, right? I don't have to, right? I can just simply go this way with a king, and and then we're gonna we're gonna capture the other pawn here on g2, right? Let's take that pawn, and then we're gonna promote into into the queen, right? Let's play this move now. White has this pawn, right? But can white really promote this pawn because we have our knight and we are faster, right? We are faster to take the queen. Let's get a queen. And now, of course, we need to we need to go for a checkmate. How do we checkmate this king quickly, right? We can um, play like a check like this. Let's organize all our pieces. For instance, we can play move like this one. And now we take, look, check. We'll take all the all the pawns and make a checkmate. Like in this case, we even did not um, need to take uh, another queen. We could. Let's go back. Perhaps we can find some different kind of strategies. So again, what is very important in a, in a position like this, when you are stronger, when you have a knight, look, uh, we, we want to improve our king, right? So before you push the pawns, bring the king into the best possible position, right? To the center of the board, like this. And... Uh, and look, when this king is in the center of the board, you can you can use that king. Look, look, right now we can even go and start attacking the white pawns. So pay attention. We did not push any of the black pawns right now, and we captured one white pawn, right? Because our king was in a in a great position. And then we can we can uh, look for some kind of improvement, right, with the with the pieces. Can white checkmate our king here on the side? Not really, right? Even if he pushes the pawn, we'll run away. So how about we we try to improve? Um, let's let's just just go away from uh, from this position here with the king. Maybe we, we go around, right? Okay, nothing is going to happen there. Look, I'm bringing the king to to the other side. Now, of course, we have to run away, right? Because we don't want to give the knight 
But pay attention, we still didn't push any of our pawns, right? We will push them later, right? Because the king and the knight are so strong, we can we can actually win the game. Look, let's let's attack. Look, we are taking the pawn, right? And now we could um, we could attack on the other side. Let's attack this pawn, right? Okay. Now, how about we try to create a pawn that can become a queen? Do you know how do we call that kind of pawn? Right, this pawn could become a queen. We need to create a pawn that's called a pass pawn. So we want to get all the way to the other side. So how about we play a move like this, right? So we want to we want to um, create this pass pawn. Okay, our knight is attacked. We we need to run away. How about we play this move again? Okay, and now we create a pass pawn. Look, this pawn can become a queen. We have to run away because the, the knight is attacked. Um, maybe we can uh, run away here, right? And then we'll push uh, the pawn so we could run away even here, right? That, that's nice move too. How about we play this move? And let's, we can push the pawn or we can improve the king. You see the king in the center of the board, it's always very, very useful. Let's play a check, and then we can even improve a little bit more with our king. Now, look, I'm going to go with the king to this side because uh, the white has to stay here, right, to keep an eye on this pawn. But if I go to this side, I'm just going to capture all the white pawns, right? Let's take them, and then we're going to create another pass pawn, okay? Look, king is trying to... To, to fight on the, on the king's side, but how about we push the pawn? Now, now it has to go back, right? And now we can get all the white pawns and create another, another pass pawn. As soon as you get a queen, it is much easier to win the game, right? Okay, now look, king captured the knight, but uh, the problem is that even this pawn now can become a queen because the white king is behind the pawns and we take the queen and now probably the easiest way would be to uh, to get another queen right we get another queen we should be able to checkmate the king very quickly here right let's uh let's play a move like this so the king cannot escape okay here we are let's play check and uh checkmate right so pay attention again before we played with the pawns we improved our king we're trying to improve our knight we try to capture like one of or two white pawns and then we create a pass pawn that can become a queen Okay, this is just one of the examples, right? Example, when you are better, when you are stronger, when you have an extra piece on the chessboard. What you need to remember from this example is to use your king. Instead of pushing the pawns right away, you need to bring your king. Try to find the best position for a king in the center of the board. And then there is a very good chance you are going to be able to win a game like this. Now, how do you practice? You can go back to this uh, study. This is uh, uh, on the NYHS Kids website. This is beginners to level lesson three. And the study in Lee Chess is uh, number 11. So you can, you can just go here and practice. Practice with the computer. Practice several times and you'll see you are going to get much better. If you don't win the game uh, immediately, right? Uh, don't get uh, upset because it really takes practice, right? Probably in the beginning, you may even lose a game like this, but, uh, but if you play like five, six times, you'll see it's gonna get better and you are going to, to win the games. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the lesson and uh, I am going to see you in our next lecture. Bye-bye.